looks like another slow TV night. But there are 500 channels. We could just pop in our favorite video game. Why didn't I think of that? I love this game. Let me, let me. Settle down there, huh, my polyurethane pal. I think it would be far more interesting for our friend with the remote to take the quiz. They might even turn out to be like me. There's only a slim chance of that, thank goodness. Now, let's get this party started. Just use your remote to answer the questions on screen. Which of the following are you most likely to do? Save a critter in distress. Make enemies. Tell a joke. Take the lead. Stay. Every toy has its own value. Rag dolls and collectible items alike. How would you feel about being kept mint in the box? Terrible. I eh, here's a question I've thought a lot about. If you could talk to a human, what would you say? Well, for starters, even though you are probably a highly complex individual, eh, such as myself, which word or phrase best describes you? Brilliant. Resourceful. If you were being chased by a Tyrannosaurus Rex, what would you do? Hide! Lasso the critter. While running, cite some facts about the T-Rex. Fire your ion blaster. Play dead. Here's a good question. What would you do if you were accidentally sold at a yard sale? Yard sale? Everybody hide! Calm down, it's just the question. Oh, why would they do that? I'm still in perfectly good... Co now, what do you value the most in a friend? Uh, there are no wrong answers, you know. Love. Now, hypothetically speaking, if you were for sale in a toy store, what would you do after hours? Jump out of your box and rustle up your pals. Okay, that's the last question. Now sit tight and we'll calculate the results. Oh, this is my favorite part. Hey, look, Ham. Our friend is most like you. Then our friend must be witty, suave. Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> a proverbial fountain of wisdom. Yeah, and there are about 3.5 million registered cars in the Tri-County area alone. Well, you do tend to spout off. But you also have a quick wit and are very practical when things get tough. And you're not bad at cards either. But you could stand to exercise more and sometimes <laughs> you're a tiny bit pig-headed. Yeah, but that's all part of your charm. Wait a minute, pig-headed? Who are you calling pig-headed? That was fun. Play it again, play it again. If you come back and play again, you'll get different questions every time. Not all careers are for everyone. Like, I can't see Potato Head as a fry cook. Which of these careers would suit you the least? Nine to five desk job. Hoo hoo, I know how I'd answer this one. You are happiest when you're what? In the middle of an adventure. Now, hypothetically speaking, if you were for sale in a toy store, what would you do after hours? Jump out of your box. Eh, here's a question I've thought a lot about. If you could talk to a human, what would you say? Well, for starters, I'd point out the misconceived notion that pigs are dirty animals. In fact, we are highly intelligent. Uh, Ham, maybe you should just let them answer the question? Yes, sir, folks. Modern society operates on a fundamental system of rules and we all handle them in different ways. So, what about you? When it comes to rules, you enforce them. Log and categorize them. Here's a good question. What would you do if you were accidentally sold at a yard sale? Yard sale? Everybody hot. Every toy has its own value. Rag dolls and collectible items alike. How would you feel about being kept mint in the box. Terrible. If there's one thing the toy world doesn't lack, it's toys with lots of features. All those bells and whistles make us classic toys look like old hat, but we can all dream. If you could choose a new feature, what would it be? 
Okay, that's the last question. Now sit tight and we'll calculate the results. Oh, this is my favorite part. A great big Andy's room welcome for the rootness tootness cowboy in the Wild West. Ride like the wind, bullseye. <laughs> that's right. You, my friend, are a natural born leader. One that your friends look up to. That was definitely Woody's finest hour. <laughs> Speaking of friends, you're the most loyal and protective friend there is. Yep, always making sure everyone's safe with all their parts accounted for. Sarge, emergency roll call! And although you do have a jealous side... And a somewhat unhealthy resentment toward the hot new toy of the month... Without you, your friends would have gone to pieces years ago! That's right, and if you haven't guessed it by now, you're most like our toy box pal, Sheriff Woody. Woody saves the day again! <laughs> Is it over? I'm afraid so, my prehistoric pal. But not to worry. Our friend can always choose to play again. Oh, what a relief. It was so much fun. I hope they come back and play again soon. Come back and play again soon. Now, what do you value the most in a friend? Uh, there are no... Not all careers are for everyone. Like, I can't see Potato Head as a fry cook. Which of these careers would suit you the least? What do you like the least? Being wrong? Yard sales? Missing with your ion blaster? Even as a toy, choosing the right job is important because it determines your clothing and accessories. Which of the following careers would you most consider? Even though you are probably a highly complex individual. Who, who? I know how I'd answer this one. You are happiest when you're what? In if there's one thing the toy world doesn't lack, it's toys with lots of features. All those bells and whistles make us classic toys look like old hat, but... Even toys love a great vacation. What would be the perfect trip for you? A little spaceport outside the Gamma Quadrant. Stay close. Okay, that's the last question. Now sit tight and we'll calculate the results. Oh, this is my favorite part. Hey, look, Ham. Our friend is most like you. Now, typically, Saturday night is movie night in Andy's room. Because he's usually... Even toys love a great vacation. What would be the perfect trip for you? Even though... Every toy has its own value. What would you do if your batteries were running low? Don't worry. Even though it's hard to admit, we all have a design flaw. For example, some... What is your single... Even as a toy. Okay, that's the last question. Now sit tight and we'll calculate the results. Oh, this is my favorite part. A great big Andy's room Well, If you couldn't reach the next level of your favorite video. Yes, sir, folks. Modern. Who, who? I know how I'd answer this one. Every toy has its own value. Rag dolls and... Which of the following... Now, this question tends to scare the preschool toys, but I'm... Now, hypothetically speaking... Okay, that's the last question. Now sit tight and we'll calculate the results. Oh, this is my favorite part. Hey, look, Ham, our friend... Now, typically, when something goes wrong, here's a good question. What do you like the least? What is your single greatest fear? I know. Which of the following? Okay, that's the last question. Now sit tight and we'll calculate the results. Oh, this is my favorite part. 
All right. Let's make with a big Space Ranger salute. Because you, my friend, are most like the Space Ranger, Buzz Lightyear, of Star Command. Which means you're a hero! To infinity and beyond! Strong, focused, efficient, and incredibly resourceful in the face of danger. And clever, too. Always thinking outside the box. Although uh, sometimes you tend to be a little clueless and stubborn. I'm Buzz Lightyear. I am Buzz Lightyear. I'm Buzz Lightyear. And you do get upset if someone pushes your buttons. But from your wingtips to your toes, you're the type whose kindness and dedication stretches to infinity and beyond. That was so much fun. Let's play it again. Again. Even toy. What? Now, this question... Now, typically, Saturday night is movie. Which of the following are you least likely to do? Win a Nobel Peace Prize. If there's one thing the toy world doesn't lack, it's toys with lots of... Which of the following are you most likely to do? Save a critter in distress. What would you do if your batteries were running low? Don't worry, it's just a hype. Okay, that's the last question. Now sit tight and we'll calculate the results. Oh, this is my favorite part. Hey, look, Ham. Our Which of the following are you least? What would you do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here's a great question. One of the key factors... Now, typically, Saturday night is movie night in Andy's room, because he's usually... At... Even toys love a great fan. Yes, sir, folks. Moder okay, that's the last question. Now sit tight, and we'll calculate the results. Oh, this is my favorite part. You may be ferocious and intimidating on the outside, but on the inside, you're just a pussycat. Hey! What, am I wrong? <laughs> you're definitely in touch with your sensitive side. We love you! And you're always willing to help your friends. <laughs> Although sometimes you let fear get the best of you. Ah, someone's coming! But when you're face to face with trouble, you just might save the day. I finally defeated Zerg! And although you tend to be a little clumsy, you're still a real asset to any toy box. <laughs> That was fun! Play it again! Play it again! Hey, it's not like they're gonna have a different personality. Eh, at least not until they're teenagers. But every time they play, there are different questions. I got a different question. Can you say goodbye, Rex? Goodbye! Every toy has a best feature. What is... Now, this question tends... What would you do if your batteries were running low? As a toy, it's important to have a wide variety of skills because not all careers are for everyone. Like, I can't see Potato Head as a fry cook. Eh, here's a question I've thought a lot about. If you could talk to a human, what would you say? Well, for starters, I'd point out... Every toy has its own value. Rag dolls and collectible items alike. Okay, that's the last question. Now sit tight and we'll calculate the results. Oh, this is my favorite part. No, it just can't be. I'm afraid so, Rex. Our friend's answers are most consistent with that of the evil Emperor Zerg, arch enemy of Buzz Lightyear. Destroy Buzz Lightyear. But that means our friend is aggressive, competitive, sneaky, and a control freak. Although on the bright side, Confident, powerful, and very skilled with machines and technology. So if the computer crashes, you're the one to call. But your your temper, your overconfidence, your confrontational nature. Ah. Surrender, Buzz Lightyear. I have won. Ah, don't forget your aim. With that lousy shooting, <laughs> you'll never hit Buzz with your ion blaster. Maybe you can change and use your powers for good. Yeah, if that happens, give us a call, okay? We just might have some shelf space for you in Andy's room.
was fun. Play it again. Play it again. Hey, it's not like they're going to have a different personality. Hey, at least not until they're teenagers. But every time they play, there are different questions. I got a different question. Can you say goodbye, Rex? Goodbye, Rex. Okay, close enough. Which of the following are you least likely to do? What is your single greatest fear? I know what you As a toy, it's important to have a wide variety of skills because... Who? Who? I know how I'd answer this one. You are happiest when... If you couldn't reach the next level of your favorite video game, what would you do? What would you do if your batteries were running low? Don't worry, it's just a hypothetical question, right, Ham? Right? Which of the following are you most likely to do? Now, what do you value the most in a friend? Okay, that's the last question. Now sit tight and we'll calculate the results. Woo! This is my favorite part. Turns out you're a dead ringer for Jesse. <laughs> like her, you're spunky. Yay! <laughs> and always ready for adventure. Some would say you're excitable. <laughs> it's really you! What's me? But you've also got a big heart and a great smile. I know I'd be glad to have you around. You're smart as a whip and always ready to help out a friend in need. That critter needs help! And even though you sometimes jump to conclusions and have yarn for hair, you're still one of the rootinest, tootinest cowpokes this side of the Pecos. Well, so long, and thanks for playing with us today. Yes, you know, we toys just love to be played with. Well, Rex, old buddy, how about a game of Battleship?